tips for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Meredith, I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Ah, I'll talk to you later. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago. Back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Actually, this is only temporary. That's what I said, too, a long time ago. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. You 
I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Actually enjoying this. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. Hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh, look, Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Twenty-two years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but... Shh. You do remember me, don't you? Of course. You're the cat lady. And <laughs> you've got more cats than ever. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by.
I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. In a few days, I won't even need that map. That's lighter than I thought. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? All right. All right, I promise. Good! Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W.
Oh, right, Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. There's a new face. A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack? <laughs> yeah. Last time I saw a human being was about six years ago. <laughs> I am here to deliver mail, and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. I hope the peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. Oh, what the... I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and sorry. It's not your fault this is full of bullcrap. Stan's Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Meredith Wise? 
as I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my, a few lines here and there, and the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. Well, hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. But, Maureen, I do have work to do. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you. I will not take no for an answer. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary, what are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. That didn't sound good. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. 
How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm all right. The job's okay, I guess. It's not the most exciting thing I've ever done. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. It's only for two weeks. Dad drove that truck for decades. Yeah, but I'm not Dad, remember? How is he, by the way? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me? 